Hey guys, it's Brickman117. Welcome back to the channel and my review of the Mega Constructs Halo Set GGG61, the designer series UNSC Scorpion Tank. The set comes with 1014 pieces and is part of the Pro Builder line. In case you didn't already know, or it wasn't obvious by the pictures on the box, this is no normal Mega Constructs Halo set. This is something different. In fact, it's so good, it's hard for me to come to terms with this review as one set. More like many sets in one box. When Mega Constructs first announced this set, I've, I've got to admit, I wasn't convinced. I, I didn't think this set was for me. Um, yes, I wanted a new Scorpion set because it's a Scorpion and I think they're great. So I was pleased that they were releasing that, but all the interchangeable turrets and tread systems that this set comes with, I just didn't think that was for me. I didn't think I'd be interested. But now that I've got it, I'm very happy to report I was wrong. If you've already seen the speed build video I put together for this set, which I've linked in the description below in case you haven't, you'll know that I decided to build the standard Scorpion for that video. The reason I chose to do this is because that was the reason I bought the set, because I like the look of that standard Scorpion. Once I'd built that Scorpion, I was in of two minds as to whether to try and build many other variants or not, because I'm sure you can appreciate with 20 different combinations, that's gonna take an awful lot of time and a very long video. In the end, what I decided to do was just try building one of the other turrets. And I am so glad that I did, because since then I've gone on to build all of the turrets, which I'm going to show you through the course of this review. As we go through the review, I'm going to show you each different turret, how it works, what it fires, and show you a few slow-mo shots of each turret operating. First out the blocks, we've got the standard configuration Scorpion tank. So it's got the four tread pods and the standard cannon on top. Now, as far as Scorpion variants go, obviously Mega have produced a few of these in the past, but in my opinion, this is hands down the best version they have created. Aesthetically, it's just it's so good from every angle. The color they've chosen to use, the green, it's the same green as they've used for their 10 year anniversary sets and also the Frost Raven they did in that color as well. Now, if it was just about how it looks, this one would win hands down against all other Scorpions, but it's not just about how it looks. That's not what this set is about. It's about what it can do. Before we get into what each individual turret can do, I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about the new tread system that Mega have come up with for this set. It's absolutely brilliant. It works so well. And talk about improvement on the old rubber treads. They are just poles apart. You can see here, they're really easy to put together and they make it even easier by showing you how to build this little jig to put the treads together. As you can see, you just pop them on top of it, put the next one on, click it into place, and you just keep going until you've got a tread as long as you need it. And they give you heaps of spare treads as well. So depending on which variant of tread system you're making, you've got plenty of little segments to make as long as you want it. And obviously if you buy more than one set, you can just keep going and going. When it comes to the main body of this tank, it doesn't change. It's the same body no matter which tread configuration or turret system you put on it. So that stays the same all the time. It does have a few interactive features. As you can see, the red Mark IV Spartan is currently occupying the heavy gunner's post, which does swivel from side to side, and that gun is fully articulated. You can point it in any direction you like. It's also got a driver's seat, which is just inside here. You can flip this hatch up and then you can slot him down into there, which is where the tank's driven from. And then also on the rear end, you've got this very handy little 
ammo storage compartment which has got these two flip up doors and then you can just slot this ammo box straight into the back of the tank. The final thing I wanted to mention before we move on to the turret was the articulation of the tread pods. It's absolutely incredible. The, the way this thing moves makes it look and feel like it could handle any terrain life could throw at it. Okay then, that's enough of that. It's time to talk turrets. Now, this first turret, the standard Scorpion configuration, has got the same standard functions as all the other turrets. It's got your usual rotate and tilt function, which is great. You need that. It's for posability and just to make it look good in any position. But that's pretty standard stuff. So what we want to know is what does each of these turrets do? What's its unique feature? The standard Scorpion turret, surprisingly enough, is the only turret that doesn't incorporate a projectile launcher or two. But it does have this very cool recoil action, which I was really impressed with. I wasn't expecting this. The build of how this works is very clever. In fact, every turret build is incredibly clever. But as you can see, you've just got this handy little wheel on the side here. And as you rotate this, it just moves this cam, which just pops the main barrel of the gun in and out to resemble a recoil action of the gun firing, which I think is very clever. And that alone put a huge smile on my face. The first, This was the first turret I built. And once I built this turret, I pretty much knew I was gonna have to build the other turrets to see what they could do too. And so with that in mind, I'm gonna take this one apart and build you the next one. version 2. So as you can see another very impressive looking turret. This one actually has four projectile launchers in it, two in each pod. I believe this is designed to resemble some sort of anti-aircraft version. Uh, I'm guessing that those two pods would be anti-aircraft rocket launchers. I can't find anywhere that actually tells you what these are. They don't say in the the pamphlet that comes with it and I haven't seen anything online but I may have just missed that so please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. Either way this was a very fun build this one really enjoyable to do as you can see each pod rotates fully down to the sides you can elevate them up and down and you've got the rotation of the turret just like on the original Scorpion version. So we've got four launchers here. You've got to watch yourself with these things. They come out fast. So fast you can't even see them on camera. I'm going to slow that down a little bit for you. And there you go. You should be able to see that hopefully. So as you can see, they do come out very fast. So don't point at anyone's face. And good luck trying to find them after you've shot them. I've already lost three. Before I strip this version down and get building on the next one, I just wanted to give it a quick spin around on the turntable because this is a really nice looking version of this set so I wanted you guys to be able to see it from all angles. Now as I mentioned earlier building all these different variants does take time and I knew it was going to make it a long video so what I've done is I've linked in below I've put some times at what stage in the video each version is. So if you don't want to watch the whole video you just want to see a certain section then you can look down there at the time skip forward watch them in your own time otherwise Sit back, get some snacks, and enjoy the whole video. version number three. Again, I'm not sure what this one's called or whether it's based on anything in game somewhere, but it looks to me like some kind of heavy cannon. Now in terms of visual appearance, it's definitely not my favorite turret, but what it does is my favorite. It is really, really good fun. And 
this feature alone would make me buy this set again. I've not seen anything like this, definitely not in Mega Blocks. When I was putting it together, I had no idea what I was building. I'd not seen any reviews or I didn't know what these turrets were capable of. So once I put it together and I realized what it could do, I was just absolutely amazed. It was so much fun. I just kept playing with this over and over again. So with that said, I guess I better show you what all the fuss is about. What makes this version so special is not only does it do all the normal stuff like twisting from side to side and elevating up and down, it's got an extra trick up its sleeve. You can see those three projectile launchers below my right hand, but they look slightly different to normal projectile launchers. As you can see, you can load them in like rounds into a heavy gun, but that's not what makes it really fun. What makes it fun is what happens when you pull this lever on the top. Not only does it fire the small projectiles out the front of the pre projectile casing and out of the front of the cannon, it also ejects the casing out of the back of the turret, which I was just so impressed with. This is just so cool. I just played with this for ages because I was so amazed at how well the system worked. It does glitch a bit but it's about practice. Once you've tried it a few times you know how to do it. It generally works time and time again and it really is a lot of fun. So this variant's actually got two weapons on it. It's got this main oversized three barrel machine gun like you see on the back of a Warthog Reconnaissance M12. And it's also got a projectile launcher on the side of it which I'm assuming would resemble some kind of rocket launcher just attached to the side there which is a nice additional feature. So you've still got your projectile launcher there and then your main weapon. The main weapon itself is activated by this handle on the side here. You just turn this around. There's just some gearing inside that makes the three barrels rotate, which I do like. It is fun. It doesn't launch anything, but it's still satisfying to turn that and see that barrel rotating like that. So definitely a, another good version. Taking a quick look at the launcher on the side, it's a relatively standard affair. It does look very nice though. It complements the main gun very nicely. And you can see you've got your trigger just goes on the top there. Once that's clipped in, you just pull it back and off it goes. Final version number five and it's another very aesthetically pleasing looking turret. This one I would say again is a anti-aircraft turret. It's got quad rocket launchers or projectile launchers but I would say that they're supposed to resemble rocket launchers. It just looks like that type of weapon. Very very nice looking turret. Again great to build. This one doesn't have a huge amount of functionality as compared to some of the others but it's pleasing nonetheless. I think they've done a particularly good job of disguising the projectile launchers on this one. They don't stand out at all. In fact, you may not have even seen them until I show you this close up and where the projectiles actually go. So as you can see, you've got four and it's relatively easy. My big hands, not as easy as it could be to get those projectiles in there, but I'm sure kids will be fine. Probably not good putting them in while it's facing at you like this in case you accidentally push the button and shoot yourself in the eye. So maybe don't do that, maybe put them in whilst they're facing in another direction. But as you can see, very nicely hidden in there. And then when you want to fire them, you can shoot them all off in one go. 
just like that, which is very satisfying. So although it's not got a huge amount of functionality, it's definitely still an enjoyable turret. And I did enjoy using this turret, seeing what it could do, and definitely enjoyed building it. So that's it for all the turret variations. Unfortunately, I didn't build any of the other tread variations. Obviously, you've got one there. You can see here, there's a total of four different variations. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys will go out there and buy this set. So you'll be able to make your own mind up on what you think of those tread variations. And it's good to have something to look forward to when you get your own. We can't do a review without saying a few words about the figure that comes with it. Now, there is only one figure with this set, and there is only one weapon as well. The weapon, as you can see, is a gold rocket launcher to go along with their 10-year anniversary gold weapons. And the Spartan himself is a Mark IV Spartan in a red, which I don't believe I've seen this red before. It doesn't really show on camera, but it's a very nice metallic red. So a very nice figure. It's a great mold. Other than that, it's just a pretty much average Spartan figure. To summarise this review, I would say that this set gives like no other set that I've built so far. Every time you build another variant, it puts a smile on your face. The way that they've designed all of these different turrets is just amazing. I was really, really impressed. How they came up with that, I just don't know. It's very clever stuff. I will say some of it is quite challenging to put together, even for an adult. You've really got to keep an eye on what you're doing, otherwise you can make mistakes during the instructions. When it comes to instructions, I mentioned on the speed build, there are no paper instructions, which I think is a mistake on this set. Um, it's difficult um, following the instructions online. My iPad didn't want to download the instructions every time it got to about the 200th part and some of them there's up to 500 parts it just kept failing to download it would download the picture but it would just be a blank white page so i think that's a mistake and i hope they don't go down that road paper instructions all the way for me personally but to be honest with you that's not the be all and end all this set is an absolute winner in my book so if you are thinking about going out and getting it i would be very surprised if you end up being disappointed. As I say, it's not a set that you build and you leave on the shelf. It's a set that you build and you rebuild over and over again. And I think it's got, it's gonna have a lot of legs. It's gonna keep you entertained for a long time. If you are thinking of buying this set, I purchased this one from amazon.com. I've put a link in my description below. If you'd like to support the channel, then I'd appreciate it if you bought through that link. It is an affiliate link, so I may get a small commission if you do buy through that link. And as I said, it does help to support the channels. Whilst I was building this, I took an awful lot of pictures along the way. So I'm just gonna put a little montage together for you at the end, just with some music, so you can see some of the nice shots that I've taken to end out the video. So once again, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.